Hey YouTubers, I want to show you something I made about 25 years ago. When I was a kid I had a steam engine that I got at the Goodwill store. I think it was like a two dollars and my mom bought it for me. So way on up years later I copied it. Sort of. It's long gone. I tore it up. I ran the boiler on the propane torch and blew the end off the boiler of that one just having fun as a kid um, so I remembered how it all worked it's the simple kind where you don't have a sliding valve uh, and a hinged wrist pin pardon me my piece of cherry tomato stuck in my teeth uh, this boiler is a brake fluid can and it's got holes in the bottom of it where I made the mistake of leaving water in it uh, being a cheap tin can it ain't gonna last but what I used here for my main bearings I used 5 16 nuts and I soldered them shut with plain old whatever plumbing solder I had drilled a hole then drilled a chamfered hole so I could put a drop of oil in them every once in a while that's a pulley off the sewing machine with a piece of copper tubing drove up in it so it would fit on that crankshaft. That's just a slug of some steel. I don't know what. I plug welded it, ground it down on the grinder. Didn't have any tools back then except the bench grinder. And what I used for keepers is lock washers that I straightened out and made the end not look like a lock washer anymore and pushed them up on there. You know, drove them up on with a little piece of pipe or something. I don't remember what, but I, I know how I did it. I don't know what that was a piece of, but it worked out real good. Some kind of whatever was handy metal. These had, I think, were part of uh, tape player brackets. Uh, old, when old eight tracks hung under the dash of your car. That's uh, part of a thermocouple. Pull the guts out of a thermocouple that goes to a water heater or a dryer, and you got a good little gas line. Those also work for the little. Uh, Briggs and Stratton WMB and Iron Horse, all them little old tiny motors, they make good gas lines for them as well. The way it gets its valve action, when the cylinder is, let me get this straight so I don't, when a cylinder is up like that, it's on the exhaust stroke. It turns counterclockwise looking in from this end. This is the push stroke this is the exhale and on exhale it lines up with a little bitty hole back there in the back then the momentum of the flywheel makes it coast on around and it, the same hole starts lining up with the steam line which pushes it out and it just keeps repeating those two things so I guess you'd call it a two cycle I just call it a poor man's El Cheapo steam engine I'm going to show you here you can pull the cylinder out. I, I spring-loaded the, the valve plate where it coasts on that plate with the two holes. Jammed a couple nuts together. You can pull that out with the piston all the way out. And you can take the piston out. You can see it's just a chunk of brass soldered to a chunk of brass soldered to a 5 16 nut that is drilled out with an oil hole filled with solder. And one time I was showing off and I put so much air in it, ran it on the air hose that I blew the <laughs> blew the eyelet off the end of the rod. But here's a better view of the two holes, the intake and the exhaust holes. And when the cylinder's lined up with the exhaust hole and it's coming around, it pushes out the exhaust. Then it goes down and lines up with the intake hole and pushes it out on the power stroke. Then the momentum brings it back. So what I'm going to do here, I guess I'm in line with the camera enough to show what I'm doing. Put the rod back, piston and rod back in. I hit it with a little WD. One of the things I did that uh, was a mistake, but I never corrected it, I shouldn't have used this screen door spring. Oh, we're starting to get some rain. I shouldn't have used that screen door spring. It sucks the heat away. Not a good idea. I'm going to do this real quick because it's starting to rain. I put a piece of hose on my blow gun here. 
the baller does have a leak in it. Now let me tip this down a little more so it'll show it good. If, you, if I put a little air to the baller, there she is. Now you could build a fire under it. I ran it on a propane torch. But uh, plumbing solder is not real durable. It's more for show than anything and to prove a point to teach. I like to help out kids around here and I like to show them how they can make stuff. This would be a good little science project for a kid that you can do without anything technical. All right, well, let's start in the rain. I'm going to go back inside. Thanks for watching. That's John Wade on YouTube. Have a good one. Bye-bye.